I'm Lieutenant Nicole Thompson with the Oakland University Police Department and I'll be giving you your tour of the Police Department today. We are a fully sworn police department, meaning that all of our officers have gone to state certified police academy and we patrol campus and we also have full arrest powers, meaning we can go out on border roads, Walton, Adams, Squirrel and Butler and we can do arrests, we can write traffic tickets and we're not security and we're not public safety so that's important to point out and you know we're just here to keep campus safe and keep visitors and students, faculty and staff safe on campus. Over here we have our Parking Enforcement Bureau and she handles all of our parking tickets. So if you come in and file a parking complaint or appeal, she's the one that will be here to take your payment and process your appeal. And over here we have the dispatch window. Um, an interesting fact is both this window and the window across the way that we just showed you is bullet resistant glass. So they're very secure in here. And this little area so we can pass our articles into the dispatch area, but you can't open one side without the other side being closed. So it's very, very secure. So this is our detective's office. We only have one detective. It's Detective Shona Collins. Last year we took over 400 police reports. So she's responsible for following up on all of those reports. If she has to do an interview or an interrogation, that happens in this room right here. Right here we have our temporary storage lockers for evidence. Our main evidence room only a few people have access to and the key to access it. So on midnight shift when those people aren't around, we have temporary storage lockers. So they will process the evidence, they'll place them in these lockers, and once they put the articles in the locker, you push up on the locker, and it shows that it's locked and no one else can get in there unless the person with the key the next day comes in and gets the evidence and moves it to the main evidence room. Right here is our armory. We keep our some of our weapons in here and um, we have armorers that are assigned officers that will clean the weapons. If there's malfunctions, they'll fix the weapons and we have extra ammo and extra accessories for our weapons. There's a male and a female locker room and you can see all of our lockers here. Once we come into the police department, we come in in civilian clothes and we change into our uniforms once we're here. So we store everything I'm wearing right here in our lockers and then we change out of that when we go home at the end of the night as well. So this way we have our administrative suite. So we have our evidence room here. This is where we keep all of our cases. It, the only time it leaves this area is to go to court or go to the crime lab or to be processed. So this is some of the stuff we've confiscated over the years. It's a lot of um, paraphernalia and some old marijuana that we've confiscated on campus. We use it now basically for programs within the residence halls. A lot of the students don't know what marijuana looks like or haven't seen it before or housing staff that you know they have to report it but they don't necessarily know what, what they're looking for. And this kind of helps demonstrate what they should be looking for. So this is the chief's office. This is a lot of where uh, big decisions are made. Um, we also have a command staff meeting every week with the two lieutenants and the IT director and the chief to just go over the week's events, big things that are happening, and stuff we have to discuss. So across from the women's locker room, we have the main squad room dispatch area. So this is our squad room. This is where we have our briefing at the beginning of our shift and our debrief at the end of every shift. You also get your equipment. You check out keys, defibrillators, a PBT. We have a full working kitchen because we're a 24-7 operation and there's not a lot of food places open on midnight shift. We also have all of our officers' mailboxes over here. You don't always see everyone on midnights if you're working day shift, so we have to, that form of communication. We have a computer over here where we do report writing. So when you get your report, you can come back to the station and type out your report. You don't necessarily have to do it in the car. Over here we have booking. Once you get inside this room, it's secure. You can see over here there's some lockers and we lock up our weapon once we bring our prisoner back here. So they're secure in handcuffs and once we get them in here, since we don't have a holding cell, we have what I like to call the naughty bench or the timeout bench. Once they're here, we enter all their information into the computer and then we take their picture. We have them stand on these white and black feet right here and we just get a composite photo of them from both frontal view and the side view. After that we get fingerprints and it's not the old school ink fingerprints anymore, it's all electronic and it's done on this machine behind you. 
Right outside of booking, we have our operations lieutenant's office and our sergeant's office. We typically have a sergeant on duty for every shift. They're in charge of running roll call. They are the supervisor on duty if there's a call they need to be made. Um, they also approve reports and they also do patrol work as well. Lieutenant Ross's office is right here. So he's in charge of the entire road patrol, including sergeants and officers. And he also schedules everyone for events to make sure all areas are covered by officers at special events. Outside of Lieutenant Ross's office is our dispatch center. And our dispatch is kind of the heart of what, everything that goes on within our police department. This is dispatch. Last year in 2015, we took over 14,000 calls for service. All of our 911 calls on campus come in here. If it's a 911 call from a cell phone, that will be transferred in from Oakland County Sheriff's. We have over 700 cameras on campus, over 100 of the emergency blue light phones on campus. We also get breaking and entering alarms in here, and we also get fire alarms in here. The dispatcher can send us calls for service and talk to us on the radio as well. So this is our media briefing room. It's relatively new to the police department. We just remodeled it and it, we also use it as a conference room if we have meetings and such. So. so that's a brief tour of the Oakland University Police Department. Um, if you or a group want to do a personal tour, we do offer personal tours. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thank you very much.